fabulous. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. It's good to be here once again. Um, first off, about my makeup, I have a tutorial on this particular look. That was my previous video, so I'm just going to link it up there. You guys can click on it and check it out. But this particular tutorial is about my hair. I'm going to be showing you guys how I go from this to this. <laughs> like, a really, really pretty, full, bulky, very healthy afro, yeah? So I'm going to show you guys how I achieved that very afro in this video. So about my hair, I had my uh, my wash day yesterday. I just took out my the old hairstyle which was the crochet that I had in before. And I had my wash day. I have a particular video on how I do my natural hair wash day. I'm just going to link it up you guys. Feel free to click it and you know watch to see how I did my wash day. And um, so my hair is basically clean and it's um, moisturized. It was deep conditioned yesterday. So I just braided it and made this little bantu knot, which I'm going to take out to get my afro. So let's just get right into it, guys. So I'm going to start off using out all the braids. So now I'm done taking out all my braids. I'm just going to be using my finger to separate them because I'm going to be combing it next. So I want to ensure that, you know, I want to ensure that everything is detangled and ready to be combed. So I'm just going to separate everything with my hands right now. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be going with my white tooth comb. Make sure you use a white tooth comb so that you don't stretch your hair and your scalp. So I'm just going to be brushing my hair section by section. And be sure to start from the tips and walk your way down to the root, to the root of the hair. Basically just comb it and I'll be sure to close up the sections so that people can see that my hair was sectioned out before. At this point I'm just using my hand to stretch it and then fluff it out with a comb. Be very gentle with your hair. You don't have to pull it aggressively. Your hair is not your end. Um, I'm going to be handling the front of the hair. I will just take a portion of the hair and push it forward like so, so that it gives me a sort of fringe, more like so that it cups my face. So now I'm just going to be shaping up my hair with my hands, like forming it into the shape that I want, like a perfect round afro. So now I've shaped the afro to my desired shape. I'm just going to take my afro pick and begin to tease from the roots of the head to make it look a little bit bigger than what it is right now. So now I'll just 
shape it one last time. So I have gotten my afro into the perfect shape, like this is the exact shape for me and this is the finished look. I hope you guys love it. But wait a minute, let me pull up my earrings so I can feel better. <laughs> So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial because I did. I think I look, I think like if my mom saw me looking like this, she's going to cry because they did all those awful things back in their day and I feel like I'm reliving that, you know, that lifetime. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, share to, to your, so your friends too can see how to achieve this fabulous afro and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't leave it out subscribing, okay? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs>